I'm so excited to have a proper full plant of them. This is gorgeous. I got this one specifically because of its name. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because we are doing another haul. I feel like because I've not really been buying many plants this year or any plants this year, I haven't really been doing haul videos and I miss them. I really enjoy doing haul videos. And so we're doing another one. This one was also voted for by my patrons. I did a bit of a different poll this month where I um, used emojis and they had to vote for the emoji pairing that they thought they wanted without knowing necessarily what the video was. This one was probably quite obvious. <laughs> Shopping bags and a little emoji. Feels like it makes sense. <laughs> um, but some of the things were also quite cryptic. So if there's any emoji combinations from these that you think you might know slash want me to make a video on, I'm I can potentially make that happen for you as well. So put them down below in the comments. But otherwise, I've got a haul to do, and I have not one, but two, if I can pick this one up, I can't pick this one up, um, I have two, ah, uh, packages here from House of Kojo, which is a UK online plant seller, and this video isn't, um, sponsored by them or anything, I bought these plants with my own money, though I am an affiliate with them, I have worked with them previously, and I do actually have a discount slash affiliate code that you can use to get a discount on the plants if you want to get some for yourself. Um, I'll put all the details down below in the description, but it's there if you want it, not if you don't. And I'm just so excited to open up these plants. I got four plants, um, but there's one that I want to save for last because it is the most, in my opinion, exciting. Oh, okay. There's two and two. Okay, I'm fine with that. So, ah, this is just so exciting. They're packed fantastically as normal. They have these sort of corrugated cardboard um, situation going on. And I'm gonna open this one first. I can see what they are at the top. Um, this one is probably the... I wouldn't say at least exciting because I've never had a full-on plant of this one before. Um, it's just, but I've always really liked the way they look, so I'm quite excited for it. Oh my goodness, okay. So we've got a Peperomia Hope, which is really, really exciting. I, like I said, have never had um, a proper Peperomia Hope before. I've only ever had, I've only ever had cuttings of them and I haven't necessarily been able to propagate it very well. And so I've kind of struggled with them, but I'm so excited to have a proper full plant of them. I really, really love these sort of leaves. They're just so, <laughs> they're so round and like almost, they're almost jade plant or Hoya-esque in the sort of thickness. They're not as thin as sort of the Peperomia frost leaves and stuff that you can get. So it's just a very different plant. And oh my goodness, when they're growing in, they grow in so cute. I'm so excited for this one just because I've never had it before. Um, but it looks extremely healthy. There's loads of different vines in it, which I'm loving. And I have the prices here. This one was $13.99, which is, I mean, I wouldn't say it's a bad deal. I wouldn't say it's like an amazing, like can't beat it price, but I say it's perfectly fine. And I was, I was perfectly happy buying this one for that price and excited to join it into my collection. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Not that I don't have space, I just don't know. I need to do a little bit of research to figure out where they like to be the best because I feel like hanging is the right vibe for it because it is kind of traily. But I don't have loads and loads of hanging plant space. 
maybe I could put it on a shelf and let it trail off of that. I'd just be worried about it tipping because I feel like it is a bit top heavy. So anyways, <laughs> I'm excited about it. I'm excited to see how it joins into my collection and oh, yeah. Okay, the next one in here is kind of the reason I put in the order because I saw that they had these and I immediately kind of knew I had to have one. Okay, where's, where's the... Ah, okay, we're dropping some soil. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Ha ah. This is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. I'll give you a couple of seconds to have a guess at what this plant is. It is so, so beautiful. I think it might be a little bit, I mean, I was gonna say it might be a little bit dehydrated, but just cause of some of the leaves are feeling a little bit soft, but it really hasn't been in the post for very long. I'm pretty sure I ordered these yesterday or the day before and they're here now. So very, very fast shipping at the minute. This here is a variegated, Pelionia repens. So if y'all don't know, I absolutely love my Pelionia pulchra and I have quite a lot of Pelionia repens as well in a sort of terrarium setting. But I saw that Sophie Wholesome Houseplants posted that she got one of these from like a random plant store, nothing necessarily anything. But I saw that she got them and I'm like, I need, I need to get one of those. It went on my wish list immediately. I had never seen anything like this one before. Like the variegation on it is incredible. But then I saw that um, Grow Tropicals, who is also House of Kojo, they're owned by the same people. Um, they said that they had some coming in stock. And so I was like, ooh, maybe House of Kojo would as well because I had a couple other things that I wanted to be getting from House of Kojo. So I'm so, so glad this was on the list and is one that they had. It also came with a plant hanger because it's in one of those hanging pots. Again, I bought another hanging plant, but that's okay, I'm not worried about it. I am not necessarily concerned, but aware that my Pelionia pulchra and my Pelionia repens prefer a bit more of a humid environment than sort of average home humidity. So I would be a little bit nervous just like hanging this in my window or something because it might be a little bit too dry for it there. But I will, I will find a spot for this one. And again, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research because while I know how to care for my other Pelionia, this one, I wonder if it is that much more sensitive. I mean, it looks like the white parts of the leaves might be a little bit more sensitive in general. That is just what happens with variegated plants. Also, sorry, the sun is kind of going in and out. So if the light is changing a little bit, saws. Um, but I just, I, also, I can't believe the size of these leaves. Like my pulchra and even my repens could never. It's so beautiful. I just hope I can take care of it well. Cause I feel like that one's a little bit nerve wracking for me. Also, this one was only £14.99, so I feel like, why why wouldn't I want to try it for such a low price? Even if it is something that's a little bit scary to me, I feel like I can make it work and we can get it growing for £15. Why not? So, now we have the other package. And there should be two in this one as well. Okay, I just saw, I've seen you see both of them and they're so cool. Okay, again, packaged amazingly, of course. The first one that I'm gonna show you um, is 
it's so cute. So y'all know how I'm getting into begonias at the minute and I'm getting, I'm trying more like, not necessarily uncommon begonias, but I'm trying more begonias, full stop. And so I got myself, oh, I was scared that it looked a lot like this one for a second, but it's not. Um, I got myself a little begonia, but I got this one specifically because of its name. Um, it is the begonia Cleopatriae, Cleopatrae. There's no way I wasn't gonna get myself a little begonia Cleo. Like, <laughs> absolutely, it, like what I saw it and it went in my cart immediately and no questions asked. Um, I also really like the sort of leaves it's got. So it's like, I mean, I've been trying to get more into begonia anyways and so it wasn't a hard decision on this one. But these sort of green and black leaves and these little adorable pink flowers. They're kind of giving cherry blossom vibes, but it is blooming all over the place. Um, I am a little bit nervous about this one just because I would probably want to put it into semi-hydro just because that is how I have experienced begonias do best for me in my home. This one is actually just in moss, so maybe I could Maybe I could just keep it in soil and see how it goes and just make sure it stays nice and moist. Maybe put it in my cabinet or something where it can stay more on the humid side. But it is so like full as well. It's like very, very densely packed in there, which is exciting. It's so cute. I'm so excited for these. Okay, this one was also only $7.99, so no way was this one not just going straight in my basket. And then this last one, I got myself as a sort of consolation present <laughs> to myself because I killed my last one. <laughs> Do I deserve this because I killed my last one? Probably not, but... What's going on? <laughs> um, probably not, but I've also been super good about not buying plants the rest of this year. And so if it's kind of like a present to myself for, for me and it is a wishlist plant and it is chunky. This thing is chunky. Okay. Are you ready for it? <laughs> so this is a euphorbia uh lacti or la um last year last year I, I don't know how it's pronounced it's it it's a ghost it's a white ghost <laughs> um and yes i did kill my last white ghost but i got that one from a cutting and i figured maybe just maybe i would do better with this one not from propagation when it's already established in a pot. And this one, it's so, it's so big. I wasn't expecting it to be quite as chunky as it is, but it's doing so well. And I'm loving that it's branching out already. So many new bits and the top it's pink. Oh my goodness. I am so excited about this one. And I really, really hope Fingers crossed that I don't kill this one. <laughs> I don't know, I, I have some faith in myself, but I'm also just very nervous about it. So, <sighs> this one was also quite expensive. It was 57 pounds. It was the most expensive plant in my order. It was over half of the order total was from this plant in particular. But you really cannot get a euphorbia ghost from like much less than that or any less than that anywhere i've not seen them go for less than that they are still quite expensive and i think it could be because they are fairly slow growing so it is just it happens but i am so excited 
I'm so happy for it. I'm so happy to have one again. I was so sad when my other one died. Not sad enough that I did anything about it while it was dying, but it's kind of one of those things where it's like, if you notice a plant going downhill, and even if you really, really love it, if you notice it like going downhill quite intensely, it's, it's like, I, it's not that it's not worth saving, but I really struggled because I didn't know how to save it. I didn't know what I could do differently on that one. Whereas this one, not that I know any better now, but I am going to keep a closer eye on this one and keep my fingers crossed that it stays happy and healthy for a while. So yeah, that is what I got in my House of Kojo haul. I am so, so happy to have these plants. I'm so excited for them. I feel like they're gonna be great additions to my collection. And I, again, am not mad at myself for spending the money on them because I wanted them and they've made me happy and they're things that I feel like really add to my collection nicely. So thanks House of Kojo for the amazing plants. It was definitely worth the cost of me buying them. But again, if you are interested in shopping with them, use my link and code down below in the description for some money off and we can all have a good time. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up down below and leave a comment on other houseplanty shops you'd like me to shop from or any houseplanty things you'd like me to talk about in the future and I can make that happen for you and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Do not forget to keep growing. Bye.